Okay, when asked about being 14th in triple doubles in NBA history, Ben Simmons said, I think people forget me as a player when I am healthy. I can play basketball. I'm pretty good. So after hearing that quote from him, how do you feel about him saying that? And what are your expectations for him this season, Mace? You said he's 14th. In triple doubles in NBA history. He's tied. 14th? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That's that's pretty that's pretty high. Um, are they talking about players active or all time? Maybe all time. I got to read that stat for myself. I can't take that from I'll show you, you right now. Look. Stat. <laughs> look, fourteenth. With how many? Uh, thirty three. Then in front of him, Matt Lever, then Giannis, Sabonis, Larry Bird, James Harden. He's fourteenth mm. all time. All time. So now we're putting them in a category of Larry Bird and James Harden. And this this got to stop. This this is definitely a come on my nigga moment. No matter if you were 12, I don't care. Right now you're Balenciaga Ben, um, you're BCBG <laughs> Ben, anything but basketball Ben right now. We, we, we're going to keep it so firm, pause with you until you actually play. We haven't seen you since the green um, Bottega, the Bottega green you had on in Brooklyn. Right now, your Bottega, Ben, you, you got to put some buckets up, man. Are you healthy now? That's what we would want to know because you let a lot of people in New York down. You got you to gotta get back to playing basketball and you got to get back to playing at a high level. I remember you was coming out of LSU. I thought you was going to, I actually thought you was going to be up there with LeBron. So when I'm saying this, I'm saying this from a very disappointed place. You let me down, my nigga. You just let, I don't know what else to say. You got to play basketball and you got to play basketball right now. I don't want to hear no type of injuries that, that can be scrutinized as if you're playing around or milking the system. Pause. You've gotten enough bread out of everybody. It's time for you to play. I don't care about what Stat just read. She read that. I'm not reading that. What you got to say, Killer? I'm not reading. <laughs> Ortega Ben, BCBG Ben, and Balenciaga Ben. Um, this is sad, man. It's sad because he has so much potential. And I know we clown Ben Simmons around up here a lot, which I'm probably going to do in a minute. Not on purpose, but it just turns out that way. But yeah, coming out of LSU, you were about to be one of them niggas. And people forget, first of all, it's hard to get a triple-double. I had an argument with Sin one of these days because, you know, Russell Westbrook, was getting so many triple doubles that we kind of just took triple doubles for 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 took Van um for sorry, granted for granted. Thank you, Mace. So I appreciate that. Took it for granted because it was just happening to where triple doubles aren't really easy to get. Carmelo Anthony's have has two triple doubles his whole career, mm -hmm. like his whole career, and because people like Luca and uh and the Joker and and of course, Russell Westbrook, who averaged a triple double, I think people kind of be like, okay, whatever. So it's not easy to get. So yeah, Ben, we thought great shit was gonna happen. Yeah, he's a three time All Star, Ben Ben Simmons. And my personal opinion, I can't prove this, and I'm not ever gonna do that to nobody. But you played around with the injury shit. I'm not gonna say what you said or didn't say. And then it came back to haunt you later because you wanted to get out of Philly. That's my opinion. And when you got out of Philly, everything been downhill since then because Philly fans was on your ass. You didn't perform. You didn't want to shoot in the playoffs. You looked scared as a motherfucker a couple games and to the point where you didn't want to shoot a layup. And it been downhill ever since. And now we hear about, you know, not going to say and say he wasn't mentally ill or whatever he's going through. That's first and foremost. So if you were that, I hope that you're better. Secondly, these little pinched nerves and your fingernail hurt and all type of other little injuries. Come on, my nigga. It got to the point where I remember watching a special on Ben Simmons coming out of LSU and you were so excited to sign with Clutch. 
to sign with Rich Paul and sign with LeBron. And they didn't tell me this. Nobody, I have no inside information on this whatsoever. But it had to get to the point where they was like, yo, get the fuck off our roster. We don't need you, nigga. Get the, get the, you don't want to play basketball. The nigga. agency dropped them? They, they dropped the nigga, murder. They That's dropped, crazy. Yeah. They, they I ain't the, never heard of an agency dropping. <laughs> they dropped the nigga, murder. like Def Jam Yeah, dropping yeah, yeah, the dropped nigga. the nigga. And I've, listen, and I know I'm friends with a lot of niggas. They told, told me nothing. But this is my assessment. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You wasting our time. We here to eat. <laughs> you don't want to play basketball. Niggas dropped you off the label. Murder <laughs> said they dropped you off the label, <laughs> my nigga. So it's sad, man. And listen, you've become very fashionable, like May said. Bottega. But, but, yeah, but what's that you said, May? Make the first thing the first thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's niggas want to be hot at the third thing, my nigga. Yeah. We know you because of basketball. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Make the first thing the first thing, my nigga. Um, I think you dug yourself so far in a hole that nobody will ever give you a good contract. And you, you have to play good for another three years straight before you get a real, real good contract. You robbed the system. You took that money from Philly. You still getting paid a bunch of money in Brooklyn and you ain't playing no games. And now your contract's probably expiring, so you're going to try and ball out. And niggas are like, that was cool. You're going to have to take the Brooklyn Nets to the Baja, nigga. To the, at least you got to take them <laughs> niggas. The you got to take them <laughs> niggas to the Eastern <laughs> Conference semifinals to get another deal. <laughs> Dolo, nigga. <laughs> After that, I can only give you a veteran minimum if you want to play in the NBA pass after this year or whenever your contract's up. It's so bad, Murder, that the Australian national team did not want him on the team for the Olympics. Yeah, I was wondering why he wasn't playing for Australia. They told them we good. They said we good, my nigga. We, we all right. We'll, we'll figure it out without <laughs> you. Yo, Ben, you got a long, long road to climb. If you really was injured all this time, I apologize. You just came to the game with too much colors on. So niggas are gonna pay attention yeah, to that. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, you so, came to the game too like yeah. too drippy, pause yeah. to be hurt. Yeah, so it looked um, like you was going out afterwards. It looked like yeah. It's, it's a lot of niggas that's been hurt. We look think about this, Mace. Um Lonzo Ball been hurt probably two years going on. Mm -hmm. Have you seen him on the sideline? With lime green on, <laughs> like, he might have been. I, you know, I'm not saying he wasn't, but at the end of the day, some niggas still want to be seen. Yeah, and, and um, Stat, what would you say about this? Because you always talk about beating the system. Yeah. So how do you feel about Ben and people saying that he beat the system? He is. Yeah, but, I mean, he is beating the system. Do I agree with it in this case? No, because I think all of us want to see him play because you're letting potential be wasted. And it's like your job is to be a basketball player. So we're expecting you to play. And again, back to his injuries, we're hoping that you feel well. But the clock is ticking. A lot of time has passed. We're not seeing anything. Like, it's always a storyline the next year. Like, oh, Ben Simmons is back this year. And he's back this year. Like, we can't keep doing that. And Ben, you got to understand we're saying this. I mean, I'm saying this because I love you as a basketball player. You really have the potential to be like a Magic Johnson or something like that. LeBron, you know, and to see you not ball, we're, I'm really speaking from disappointment more than anything. So when you hear this, don't let this play in your psyche. Take this as we really want to see you be great, and we really want to see you bounce back from this and have a, a, a great career with what's left. And I'm going to disagree with Mason. You had the potential to be all that. Now you could just be a good player moving forward. You could have been one of them niggas. You wasted the time. <laughs> now let's just see what you can get. Look, the, let's keep it. Let's keep it a hundred. He's only twenty eight years old. Yeah, he's only twenty eight. And Braun and Magic and them niggas and you, right, murder. He definitely had that potential. A little bit too late of a start. Niggas is out there. You got Ant Man. You got John Moran coming back. You had the Joker slide in there. Pause. It's been a lot of niggas that's come around since you were supposed to be that nigga. Your best bet is to try and just sneak in there and be a good player for the remainder of your career because niggas ain't letting you have that nigga spot back. Like, yeah. as far as you about to be that nigga, 
that ain't happening, nigga. You missed that opportunity. Niggas is hungry for that. You're never going to be that nigga. So do you think they put him back at the point or is he now a power forward? Because that's a part of being that nigga. He won't be that nigga from a power forward standpoint. The thing about it is this is that he never worked on his jump shot. So they can lay, if he's going to be a point guard, they'll just lay off of him. Poor. If, if I'm giving you the three. If I'm guarding Ben Simmons and I'm the other point guard or the best defender or whoever I need to guard, mm-hmm. I'm backing up off you. I'm, I'm, when you bring the ball up the court, if you're the point guard, I'm waiting at the foul line and my foul line. I'm back there. Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Go ahead, nigga. <laughs> like Kaylin Clark did yeah, one time. Yeah, go ahead. Like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and shoot, nigga. Now, if you put him in a power forward position, he could be a problem. He's 6'10". He's a legit 6'10". He could be a problem, but is he too pretty for that? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Dray- Draymond, be at the point yeah, Draymond ain't having all that down there, all that light skin shit down there at the, at the power forward. Before we know, that nigga be in the chicken wing. <laughs> Draymond, that nigga in the camel clutch before it's over, my nigga. It's a tricky situation. I don't know if he worked on his jump shot, which has been a problem for several, several years, actually since he's been in the NBA. So I don't know. Point being is also is that who the fuck do the Brooklyn Nets got? Mm. He need to just get a set shot. He's tall enough to have a set shot. The point being is this is the time Brooklyn got rid of everybody since you was there. Go crazy, nigga. Yeah. It's yeah. your team. Go, average go, 30, yeah, 40. Every, yeah, go, it's go, crazy. go crazy. Get in your James Harden bag. Yeah, this all you got. Take 100 not, dribbles, nigga. Yeah, do whatever not, you got to do. If not, I'm being honest with you. I'm going to start writing a Lifetime movie about Get Out for you, nigga. It's been with them Kardashians. Shit been downhill. You been fly, too fly for your own good. And you look like you're in a maze, nigga. I start writing a movie about you, nigga, and change the names, nigga. Get it together. <laughs> change the names. <laughs> okay, Tim well. Tim Simmons. <laughs> Tim Simmons. I'm dead. Well. <laughs>